very, very exciting win for our program and for our ladies. They worked extremely hard. Um, what's great about this win is we win over a really good basketball team that um, it does some things that gives us problems and the, the way that they play. And we were able to win without playing great. Um, and any time that you can turn the ball over more than your opponent, um, you can um, shoot a worse percentage, especially from the free throw line, and give up so many free throws. And the fact that you're still able to win is a credit to how hard we were working, how hard we hit the glass, and how we really stuck to our game plan for the most part, uh, defending them. Um, and I thought that uh, that's the exciting thing about it is we made one three-pointer in the second half uh, and still, we're, still we were able to be uh, successful. And this team is so predicated on, on making perimeter jump shots that when you can win without making them, it's a, it's a sign that uh, we're showing some toughness and some maturity. Um, we got a lot of points inside tonight. We knew that could be an advantage for us scoring inside, not just on post feeds, but with uh, Kyra Williams attacking the basket. Um, I thought Burgundy had a couple of nice uh, uh, baskets in there. Uh, and of course, uh, uh, Taylor Corneliuson had a, a, an excellent night. Um, and uh, Sammy Gathercole attacked the basket, had one of her better nights, another double-double. Two kids with double-doubles just as says, uh, to a coach how hard they're working. So just an extremely exciting win. Um, obviously, it's not a conference win, so there's not that extra weight to it. But anytime you can beat a program like College of the Ozarks that um, has won so many games and is such a dominant team in our state and does such a great job year in and year out, um, it's a feather in the cap of our ladies and something that we should use to help prepare us for Saturday. Uh, Benedictine and College of the Ozarks are pretty similar. They um, they play a lot of the same ways, just really smart, really disciplined kids that can make shots. They don't beat themselves, and uh, tonight we saw that and we're able to be victorious. And, of course, with league play on Saturday against Benedictine, uh, it's going to be that much more important. I also want to say this, that uh, today has been an outstanding day on the campus of Central Methodist University. Um, we had a, a large group uh, come for Santa with breakfast, um, and then, of course, our JV team pulls out a huge win, which I can't be... Uh, any more excited for those kids who work really hard and picked up a, a great W, especially after playing the tough schedule they had to beat a team that beat them earlier by 30 was exceptional. And uh, I also want to give a shout out to Donut Delight uh, in Columbia. Um, they took care of give all the donuts for us today for our uh, uh, breakfast with Santa, which is appreciated. They got locations on Vandiver and Lake of the Woods, and uh, we appreciate that. Uh, what an exceptional day here on the campus of Central Methodist. We're very excited about the win. We've got a little bit of time to rest up before Benedictine, um, and we're excited about taking a couple days off, focusing on finals, getting back in, resting up, healing up, and uh, um, continuing on with uh, what, we've been, what we've been doing and, and add to it. Well, you know, it just shows hustle, especially in the, in the, in the full court sense. And, and we really worked hard tonight or today. And um, um, I think that our athleticism at times bothered them, and I'm hoping that that can bother some teams in our league. Um, the great thing about this team compared to teams in the past is that I think we're finding ways to win games both ways, whether it's with our athleticism, whether it's with our you know, cutting and running and those kind of things, or whether it's just flat out by shooting the ball from the perimeter, and that's exciting. One of the things we usually do very well, and it's a big advantage, is our bench points. And, you know, our bench um, tonight, I think they ended up with 11, which nine in the second half, which were big, um, that we needed them. But um, – we didn't uh, have as big of a bench support, so our starters had to log some more minutes. Uh, a lot of the kids are, we've got some kids battling some colds and some flus and recovering from that, but they, uh, Jesse Ellis hits a few free throws late. Nakia has a couple big time baskets late. We got 10 minutes from Chelsea Paneer, which was outstanding. Got some minutes from Petra when um, uh, uh, Burgundy was in foul trouble. So just another game where we uh, have a good team quality win, where everybody uh, picks up some things and does some things. Well, it's nice to win 50, especially here at Central Methodist, and we've done that in a, in a, a fast uh, method. Um, the ladies have worked really hard to do that, and so, um, you know, I wouldn't be here at all if not for how hard the kids in the junior colleges I coached at have done, um, as well as the kids, how hard they've worked here for us. So it's exciting. Um, anytime we can win, or even anytime we play well, it's a victory for us, and uh, I'm excited about the future here, and I'm excited about this week of preparation for Benedict, and we're going to have our hands full. Your thoughts on? Yeah. Well, you know, I think Missouri Valley, who we played uh, earlier this week, is going to be a top five team in the league. I think that obviously Benedictine and Baker, the next two games for us are top five teams in the league. So, boy, we're really getting started with a tough stretch. The Benedictine game, those games, they're going to mean a lot when it comes to the final conference standings. It's not the whole season by any means. I like the fact that we're at home. We're going to have to defend what they do. We're going to have to use a little bit of the things that we did today to be successful and things that we've done through the first nine game stretch. Uh, but 
League play means toughness. It means intensity. It means playing together. It means doing the little things. So that's what we're going to have to do to be successful.